Hello YouTube. Denture wearers, people considering dentures. It's your favorite denture wearer again. Nice to see you. Um been having a couple of issues lately. Tomorrow is officially the end of my eighth week. My two month mark having my new dentures. And as you remember, I had broke my bottom denture and they had to make a new one. Now look how thin this denture is. Okay. This denture is really, really thin. That's the immediate. It's the thickness of my fingernail. Okay. So that's the edge of the denture right there. Let me do it this way. Let me do it this way. That's the edge of my denture. That's my fingernail, the tip of my fingernail. Right there. That's the thickness of it. So it's no wonder it broke. The immediate dentures are extremely thin. And they do that so that they can do a soft reline in a couple of months. And have room for it. And then when they take a the soft reline out at the six month mark. They can fill that denture with the new material for the hard reline. The new acrylic for the hard reline to make them fit perfectly. And they don't have to grind anything out. Now. A couple of issues I've been having. Is that one. Right now. I need to go in for a soft reline on this top denture. It's five sizes too big. I'm using a ton. A ton of glue. And. Lately. The past couple of days. That top denture has been making me gag like a son of a bitch. It's just not fitting right. I'm having an issue with the bottom denture. It's becoming a little looser. And it's not fitting correctly. And. I've tried a little bit of glue here and there. Um, don't need much. Because it does still fit. But. The issue I'm having with it. Is. The glue not sticking to the denture. I don't know if it's because they. Polished it out so good that the glue just won't stick to it or what. But. I can't handle teeth flopping around in my mouth. So I'm trying a new glue. It's still Fixident. But it's called Fixident Natural Feel. Okay. And what it is, is it's got a little tiny tip on it. And you just use the slightest little bit of fucking glue in your denture. So your denture still sits on your gum. It doesn't create a barrier between your gum and your denture. So the denture still sits on your gum. And all it's supposed to do is fill in any little bitty voids that are there that cause that denture to come loose. And right now I'm chewing a piece of gum and it seems to be holding just fine when I go in in April get the hard relines done they say my gums will be done shrinking at that point um, yes I'm smoking a cigarette I've been dealing with some frustrations for the past couple of days and when I deal with frustrations I have to smoke um, <clears throat> Like when I broke my bottom denture. Once I got the new bottom denture. <coughs> on week six. Um, <coughs> I quit smoking. Again. And didn't smoke a cigarette again until yesterday. And the reason I smoked a couple of cigarettes yesterday. Is because this top denture started making me gag. I have no idea why. Um, well, I do know why. It's because I have to use so much glue to get it to sit where it's supposed to sit because it's it's my gums are shrinking, so it's pushing further and further up, which means it's getting further and further up on that palate, which means the back of it's coming further and further down and pushing back, and it's and it's making me gag. So. I know why it's making me gag. I just can't cure the problem. So. 
A trick I learned, if you're gagging a lot, and I learned this yesterday and this morning, um, one thing you can do to get that denture to seat and sit where it's supposed to before you try to eat a meal, because if you're eating a meal and you gag, everything's going to come back up. One thing you can do is chew on a piece of gum. Sugar-free, of course, because you don't want it sticking to your dentures. And switch sides with it. Okay? And the reason I do that is, and I chew all the way back, so that it pushes those back teeth up on the top. Pushes them up, which in turn pulls it forward, you know, pushes it up and forward at the same time which in turn sets that palate up in there and gets that palate from sitting all the way back gagging you all the time. Um, you can also use gum for bite training, okay? Put it in your front teeth. bite with it. What that does, in my case anyway, that denture never sat on that front plate, on this front jaw. Now it is. So, when I first got that denture, that front jaw was really, really freaking sensitive. It had never had anything sitting on it, except glue. So I started using gum and biting the gum which repetitiously kept putting pressure on that front jaw just like that, repetitious, repetitious. Every time I did it, it would send a little shock of pain. Well, after a while, that pain goes away after a day or two of doing that with the gum. The pain went away. So then I was able to start biting through things. Um, also, if you're using glue on your teeth, gum is great for two things. One, you want to make sure you don't have any glue stuck to your denture because the gum will stick to it and it'll be a fucking mess. But, chewing, chewing gum does a couple of things. One, it forces that glue into all the little cracks and crevices where it belongs so your dentures will seat properly. And two, if your top denture is making you gag, just chewing on gum on the very back of your molars back there causes that top denture to seat up inside that palate, the, the palate to seat up in your roof of your mouth so you don't gag when you eat. So once that glue hardens fully, you won't have an issue with gagging. And you'll be able to go eat a meal or whatever and chew on it and not have to worry about gagging. That's if you get them glued in hard enough that they don't move once it seats. Um, and I'll tell you, I haven't been able to chew gum in 20 years. Because it always hurt my teeth, even the sugar-free stuff. So being at a point where I can chew gum is really nice because just being able to chew gum, period. <laughs> um, I started having uh, this morning with a lot of issues. Um, I couldn't get the glue to stick to the bottom denture at all. I, I tried the new stuff, this Fixinate Naturals, and I did the little thin strips like they said to do, and Chewing gum on one side, it's not lifting on the other. Switch sides, 
and it's not lifting over here. Biting in front, it's not trying to lift in the back. The denture fits really, really well. That's not a problem. The problem is my gums are still shrinking just a little bit. So it's getting loose because it's not seating properly. So it's flopping around a little bit. I don't like floppy teeth. Uh, I have a feeling that eventually I'll have to get the post. I get way too damn aggravated. The other thing is, I need to get the reline done, the soft reline done on the top. Because I have to use so damn much glue on that that it's getting harder and harder for me to get enough glue in it. Um, and the frustration level is way high. But you have to deal with the frustration and the stress for the first six months at least until your gums are fully shrunk and shrunk up as far as they're going to shrink and they're going to stay that way for six or eight, eight years. You know, Then you go in and you have them do a hard reline. So in other words, they take another mold of your gums and they use that mold and they take your dentures and they lay in all new acrylic that fits that mold perfectly. All the little cracks and crevices and nubs and knobs and every little piece of your fucking gum that, that's not smooth and flat and perfect. And when you take those dentures and shove them up in your mouth, there's no voids. So they fit like a glove. Now I was talking to an old man the other day and he was eating some chicken at the chicken place, Kentucky Fried Chicken. And he was ripping through that chicken like it was nothing. And uh, I asked him, I said, he's a friend of mine. He's my father-in-law's friend, actually. I asked him, I said, how long have you been wearing dentures? He goes, oh, about 40 years. Because we got on a conversation of dentures because he noticed that my teeth were perfect again. And, and he was like, didn't you have a mouthful of rotten teeth? I said, yeah. Got my dentures. Well, I asked him how long he's been wearing them. He says, about 40 years. I said, oh, okay, well, that's good. I said, do they fit okay? And he goes, well, I have a new set made every five years. Because your gums will continue to change. He says, so I just save my money, have a new set made every five years. And I said, okay. How do you get them to stay in? And he goes, well, he says, once they start getting a little bit loose, I use peanut butter. <laughs> peanut butter. I said, what? He says, all you need is something to fill in the little voids that cause that denture to come loose. He says, I take a finger full of peanut butter, smear it around that bottom denture, stick it in my mouth. Whatever leaks out tastes great, and whatever doesn't leak out stays in them little holes and stuff and creates that suction so that you don't have to worry about them coming loose. <laughs> peanut butter. I said, all right, I might consider that. <laughs> For now, I'll stick with the, with the glue. <laughs> the man can eat anything. And use his peanut butter to hold his bottom denture in place. And uh, when it starts getting a little bit loose, keep, he puts peanut butter on. <laughs> and so I, I guess, you know, anything that will fill in that little bit of void that something can, air can get into or whatever to break that loose. I guess that's kind of the whole point. Um, the trick I was uh, showing you today with the gum, you want to wait at least a half an hour after you put your dentures in with the glue before you start chewing on a piece of gum. 
and then hey kitty then you want to continuously switch sides and work the front too and do that for about an hour and uh, you can do it while you're driving around you can do it while you're sitting at the table having coffee um, it, it really does put enough pressure on your teeth to get those that glue to smash up in there and, and set where it's going to sit all day and because you're chewing on the gum anything that you eat for the rest of the day chewing on or whatever will allow that you won't have to worry about glue leaking out while you're eating in other words so no matter what you eat, the glue will stay where it's supposed to because you've already chewed on gum for an hour and smashed that glue wherever it's supposed to sit and stay for the rest of the day. So you're good. Anyway, I hope this helps. If uh, you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below or send me an email. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. This is your favorite Ninja Wearer signing off.